Iran had an election last weekend where 41 million voters, or 73% of the electorate, chose to give the president a second term. President Hassan Rouhani, they call him a moderate, reformist. He's the guy who calls for more civil liberties, the man who struck a deal with former U.S. President Obama to curb his country's nuclear program in exchange for easing of sanctions. He got 56% of the votes. But listen, this was a sham election. May I remind you, Iran has a history of human rights violations, a state where the theocrats have immense power. Iran supports Syria's Bashar al-Assad. It sends militias into neighboring countries. Though the turnout was massive and endorsement of Rouhani was huge, we are warned that the Iranian people actually reject this election. That was from the American thinker. Those millions have only humiliated themselves in this sham election. Rouhani is a fake reformer in a fake election. This election is in no way an example of the people actually choosing the most moderate candidate on offer to try to push the country in a different direction. All candidates have to be approved by an unelected guardian council. The president doesn't have the real power in the country anyway. That belongs to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, a theocratic dictator who was actually publicly backing the defeated candidate, a hardliner called Raisi. He needs to up his dictator game. Yes, Rouhani might have said our nation's message in the election was clear. Iran's nation chose the path of interaction with the world away from violence and extremism. But why should we believe him? He duped those young people. Think of this, this one guy called Abraham Lincoln. He was running for president as a so-called reformist in the US election in 1860. It was a country where women couldn't vote and slavery was not only practiced, but an integral part of the society. In that election, Lincoln suggested as a reformist that while he doesn't like slavery, he wouldn't do away with it immediately. He wanted to put a hold on the institution in the newly acquired territories as a start. He upset the hardliners and the true reformers. Don't listen to me. Listen to black abolitionist from Illinois, H. Ford Douglas, who said at the time, I do not believe in the anti-slavery of Abraham Lincoln. He is on the side of this slave power of which I am speaking that has possession of the federal government. Fake reformer in a fake election in 1860. So, rather than all these sham elections, maybe Iran's rotten system needs to be overthrown by outside forces. Then the forces of democracy can militarily occupy the place, settle it down for a bit before overseeing real free and fair elections. It worked in Iraq, didn't it?